and this is physics. What I'm going to do now is show you a special graph for water. There we go. On the screen. This is a special graph for water. And I'm going to do this graph here. It's temperature. Temperature versus time. I'm going to draw a little graph. Here's temperature in degrees Celsius. And at the bottom, I'm going to have time. There's running out of space there. Time is going to be at the bottom. We'll put it over here. Now, temperature versus time. Time can be in seconds, or in minutes, or in hours. Is there really no importance to us with just time? So we have temperature versus time. Over here on the left, we're going to go to zero degrees Celsius, the freezing point of water. And this is for water. And up at the top, I'm going to say 100 degrees Celsius, it's all degrees Celsius. Now, if I had an ice cube, take this ice cube out of the freezer, it's going to start down here, somewhere, say, probably minus 20 degrees Celsius. And as I add heat to this ice cube, over time, we're going to measure the temperature of the ice cube. It's going to start to rise. It's going to start here. It's going to start to rise. It's going to eventually hit zero degrees. Then it's going to plateau. The temperature is going to plateau over time. Time is still continuing. Heat is still being added. But the, the, the temperature plateaus at zero. It doesn't go any higher than zero. And it reaches this point. Then it's going to continue on. This is uh, ice. At this point right here, we also have ice. And at this point, we'll have water. Now the water then is going to continue to get heated up, up. We're still doing the heating over time. And then the plateaus again here at 100 degrees Celsius. So we have water here. And this is boiling water. And it's going to continue to boil up until this point, where all of it has been boiled away, and then we have steam, vapor or steam. And we're not interested in that portion of the curve. This is the typical curve for water. If I take ice, heat it up, I'm going to follow this, this, this curvature. Get here, go to zero, and then start to read some more, and then back up. There are some equations that can be applied to these various lines, right here. For that line, for ice coming from minus 20 up to the zero mark, the equation is Q. Q is heat, heat being added or removed. So you go to C, I'm going to call this C1, the mass times the change in temperature. That represents this that slope, or this, this curve. Down here, this plateau, Q again is heat, is equal to mass times latent heat of fusion, latent heat of fusion. And this curve has another equation, we call this Q2, Q1, now here Q2 is equal to C2, M, delta T. And up here at this plateau, you have Q3, and that will be uh, called Q1, Q2, we'll call this one Q, Q3, Q4, ML. Let's look at this a little closer. Can someone turn the lights on, please?
I have re reproduced that graph here. So if we had considered ice, now ice is a solid. Here's ice. And we're starting somewhere down here at minus 20 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna add heat to it. And it begins to melt. Till eventually hits this point right here. And at this point we still have ice. And it's still a solid. As time goes on, this is time, we're still adding heat, but that heat is being absorbed by the ice and it's melting until it eventually comes to here. We have liquid. In our case, because this is for water, we have, we have liquid water. What's happening in here? Well, that's a good question. I have here a little beaker. In this glass, I placed some ice. Oh, it's melted a heck of a lot during my lecture. And let's see what happens at this temperature. According to this, this temperature right here ought to remain at zero because I've got a mixture of ice and water. Let's see what we have. Let's mix this up a little bit. And if, can you zoom in on that? What, what do you see temperature-wise? Zero degrees. 0.3? 0 0.3. 0 .3. Okay. And the temperature here is about 0 0.3. Let's see, let's stir it up some more. And now we're down to 0 0.1. So it's, it's varying a little bit. Point, point 0.3, point, what, do you, what do you get? Still 0 0.3. Still 0 0.3? It so won't be stubborn, does it? Good enough. So what's happening here? It should be at zero, but this, there, the ambient temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So the ambient temperature is being is heating up the water in here to, to a heat transfer. So the water is increasing in temperature, but the ice is also cooling it down, back down to zero degrees Celsius. So we got competing temperatures happening here in the water. A little bit of heat coming in and the, the, the ice melting. So as a result, it's not exactly at zero. Now if this was under controlled conditions, it would be at zero. And what we have here, what is happening, we have a combination of ice and water. But what's happening during this plateau is a change of phase, going from a solid to a liquid. And in between, we have a combination of solid and liquid. As you can see here, on my class, I got a combination of a solid and a liquid. So that plateau represents a change of phase. Once all of this is done, it will remain at zero under controlled conditions until it's 100% water. And as I'm adding heat to it right now, heat is being added to our little glass container here from the ambient temperature. It will melt, and then the, the, the temperature of that water will then continue to rise. Thinking you're putting a pot of water on a stove. As a result of putting a pot of water on a stove, the temperature is going to rise, 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 until eventually it hits 100 degrees. So here's your pot, here's your water, and it's boiling. At this point right here, the water is boiling. At this point right here, it's all gone, it's all vapor, or you know, what we we'll call that gas vapor, steam. We'll call that all steam. So if I were to capture that steam as it boils without changing the, the, the pressure in here, what we got here happening here is also a change of phase, going from a liquid to a gas. And it doesn't change in temperature. That temperature here will stay at 100 degrees all the way through until yeah, you have all steam and then as you continue to heat the steam, you have superheated steam and we're not going up that way. We're interested in this part of the graph. And with that, this is physics. Yes, yes.